Hi guys, welcome to the vlog. It is Sunday morning and I am hung over. Last night I went out to a bar with me, Alicia, Chesco, and Taryn. It was so much fun. We were out until like three, almost 4 a.m. I wanna say. Came home, showered, went to bed, and I woke up, blinked my eyes, it was bright outside, the sun was rising, and I was like, nope, sleeping in today, I'm having a chill day. So I went to bed until, I got into bed like 11-ish. It is now 12.40. I have been loafing around, doing nothing, and I just made myself a meal because I need some hangover food, and I made some odongkang, which is a, it's an instant ramen with eggs, fish cake, shrimp tempura, and and it is going to bring me back to life. And today I have literally no plans. I will just be uh, chilling and we'll see what we get up to. But for now, I eat. See you soon. Hi guys, just watched the last clip and realized I was wearing the same pajama shirt. So technically, it looks like no time has passed, but really it is now Tuesday morning. Sunday, I laid around all day. I was hungover to like 7 p.m. Finally got up at 7 p.m. and really just stayed home the entire day. Yesterday was Labor Day and it's so weird because today feels like a Monday, but it's obviously a Tuesday because it was a holiday. Yesterday, I just hung out at the house, relaxed, and then at night, we went to Tiff and Matt's engagement party, which was so much fun. If you guys missed it, Moff is engaged. I've been holding in that secret for over a month. And in the last four days leading up until the engagement, I woke up every morning thinking that I had spoiled the secret. And I was, I'm just not good with secrets as we know, but we made it through. Congrats to Moff if you're watching this. One of my favorite couples ever. I love you guys so much. And now I'm up on Tuesday morning and we have a chill day today. I just had my Parker, <laughs> I just had my stylist Parker come by and we did some outfit picks for Pretty Basic. And now I am making myself some breakfast and we have something very exciting. Also guys, look at my skin. You guys know I've always struggled with acne scarring or I have for the past like five years or so and this cheek specifically has been really bad. Look at how much better she's getting. It's not gone, but this is the best it's looked ever. So very excited about that. Let's get to the exciting part of this video. Are you ready? Are you ready, Daisy May? Are you ready for the time of your life? Boom, boom. We officially have our Bath and Body Works haul for fall. Woo! I've been holding on to this box for about a week now. I wanted to open it on September 1st, but I kept putting it off. I, I've told you guys this before, but I, I know this isn't how it like technically works, but I divide the year in my head into quadrants of December to February being winter, March to May being spring, June to August being summer, and then September to November being fall. That's how I think about it in my head, more so for like decor purposes. So now that it is September in my brain, I can bring out all all the fall things and I'm super excited about this fall and uh, I want to show you guys the stuff that I got so obviously I got candles and I waited until they were on sale because I refused to buy them at full price but I waited till they were like $12 a candle I think I want to say 11 or 12 and then I also bought some hand soaps as we all know Bath and Body Works it's I really only shop there during the fall and winter and we all know my signature scent is leaves during the fall and winter candy apple during the winter so for the hand soaps I got a bunch of leaves because as I said I love leaves and these are the cleansing gel hand soaps and I got these to put into my already existing little gel hand soap dispensers so I got four of those to fill them up and then I also grabbed one frosted cranberry this scent is also very nostalgic for me and I got this to put up in like the laundry room or something and then four candles I got one two three four five large ones let's open her up shall we one of my other favorite scents in general is champagne toast I can smell a champagne toast candle from a mile away yesterday I walked into Tip's house and I literally went Champagne toast, and it was champagne toast. I love the packaging also, it's like a frosted baby pink. So I got two champagne toasts. I definitely in my head when buying was like imagining where I was gonna put these and now I don't remember where. So we'll just figure it out once I uh, start laying them around the house. I got a warm vanilla sugar, which honestly normally this one is a little too sweet for me, but I thought it would be nice in the bathroom. Mmm, oh, less sweet than I remember. Wow, okay, maybe they toned it down. I got a honey crisp apple. Anything apple scented is like one of my favorites. Oh. I love a honey crisp apple. It's nice, not too sweet. Did I only buy one leaves? I'm gonna burn through this pretty quickly. I guess I only got one large leaves, but how pretty is this packaging? This nice creamy chocolate brown. I mean, I got a lot that I 
Oh, I love the cinnamony. Oh, I'm sad I only got one. Mmm. The cinnamony apple. It's described as crisp red apple, golden nectar, warm clove spice with natural essential oils. So I only got one of those, but I'm sure I'll burn through these eventually and I can go get another leaves one. And then for single wake, I got a leaves and a champagne toast to put on little tables. But I'm really surprised. I thought I got more leaves than that. I am very stunned right now. But I'm gonna burn through all of these and then I will let myself get another leaves candle. But yes, very excited for fall. I'm going to lay these out and start burning them now. Guys, the leaves is burning. I've got honey crisp apple over there. Champagne toast in the front. It smells amazing in this house. I am so excited. Now I'm gonna make myself some brunch. It's 11:19, so I need to make some food. Cleaned up the kitchen, the pantry. I'm going to start like reorganizing that. So that's why it's crazy on the countertop right now, but it smells so good in here. I love it. I was gonna make regular breakfast and then I randomly wanted an egg salad sandwich. So I made some toast and and some egg salad and we're gonna have this. Hi guys, okay, I have had a very productive day. Sorry I didn't keep you updated at all. I have my little to-do list here on my notes. I usually like to write my to-do list physically, but I've been liking the notes app because you can go in and add little like check marks and then check when you're done. I have so far done the laundry today. I installed some new like towel hook things. I took two meetings earlier today. I cleaned the dining room table downstairs. I organized this room because it was getting pretty crazy. Put all my clean clothes away and then I moved up the coffee table, which this used to be downstairs in the office, but it was taking up too much space. But it fits nicely right here. I love to read on the couch behind me so I can like put my Kindle on there, have a cute little like reading nook area. And more importantly, the office is now clear so we can move our chairs around more freely. So I moved that up here and now I just did my makeup. I got ready. My hair extensions have grown out so much in the back. You can't really tell because it's dark, but there's like this much growth. So they're getting like twisted again. So we're going to move them up in a couple days. Until then, honestly, my hair is looking pretty crazy. Like the back, I'm not going to show you the back of my head but it is grown out and you can see them so for the podcast oh alicia and i are going on full coverage which is manny and laura's podcast today she's gonna pick me up but for the podcast there's no way i can get my hair looking good so i'm just gonna put a hat on and do some braids and hope for the best she'll be here in like 10 though so i'm going to get ready i also tried out the new patrick ta foundation today which i think it looks really 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 nice this is it's the cream foundation and finishing powder duo i used this this one, the light medium two. Under this little plasticky thing, there is a cream foundation and it comes with a setting powder. I love this. It came with this brush as well, which I used to apply. I think it looks really nice and we'll see the wear, but it looks pretty good to me. I'm gonna get dressed into something comfy because it is very hot outside and we're gonna go. See you soon. All right, here's the fit that we went with. It is cute and casual, but also comfy because it's so hot outside. I lost my train of thought. This little black workout top is from Halara. The skirt is from Aritzia. My shoes are Chanel and I got them from Fashion File. And then my little white cardigan is from Kith. I like it because usually podcast studios are freezing. So I need something to keep me a little bit warm. Hair, I just did the braids and then I've got my overreacted hat on to hide the tape ins in my hair. Normally I would pair this outfit I think without the hat, but I still think it's cute. And again, necessary to hide the tape and extensions. All right, let's hit the road. Goodbye guys. I'm almost always on a pillow. Goodbye my princesses. I will see you in a couple hours. Be good. You're always good though, aren't you? Yes, yes. I am gonna take this thing for a snack. It's Devosh Hazelnut Superfood Bites. It's hazelnut, coconut, chocolate, and dates. I got it from Whole Foods and it sounds easy and quick to take on the go. Got into Alicia's car. Slay. And we're matching. No, not planned. Not planned at all. Uh, we went for a very simple, solid <laughs> statement <laughs> looks today. You know, whenever I go on a podcast also, or just like I'm seeing people that know how to do their makeup, I stress so hard You're, about doing my makeup. Your makeup looks so good. <gasps> Thank you so much. I extra hot. blended. No, because my oh. tapins are showing really badly. <laughs> oh, okay. But hopefully I get the stamp of approval Ooh, from oh the beauty God, gurus so themselves. From Mac Baby 11, I already got it. So like, <laughs> honestly, I don't need it from anyone else now. Hi. Hi. Will you give me a tour of the studio? A twirl? Yes. Uh, no, a tour. <laughs> Twirl, I'm like, a twirl. yeah. Twirl, and then a twirl. <laughs> this, is, this is the space. This is where we film full Stunning. coverage. Oh, the sad. This is how we do it. This is gorgeous, wow. So this is like, this is nice. so this is Laura's like haven. This is Laura's this is area. This is shit from my house that I don't <laughs> yeah. need. That's what we do. That's what we put in our studio. <laughs> this, this is, is so cute. Everything else goes. Oh, Wait, who's an Aries so here? Me. <gasps> you know she's an Aries too. Yes. What are you? I'm an Aquarius. I'm a Virgo. 
Hello all. We are about to go out to a celebratory dinner for some things that I will share with you. I'm not able to share them yet, but I will as soon as I can. But before we go out to dinner, we have our Color Me Mine here. And I thought we could open up and look at it. You wanna come see yours? Your Color Me Mine. All right, here we go. This one is mine. <gasps> Woo! That's really good. It's cuter than I even imagined. I painted myself this mug that says Big Daddy. It is huge, truly the size of my head. And then on the back, I freehanded a bunch of Hello Kitties because I am like eight years old again and I'm back in my Hello Kitty era. I used to be obsessed. I missed her so much. So this is my Big Daddy mug. I painted the inside dark purple and I'm gonna use this to drink coffee or maybe put soups in and things. Oh, this is terrible. <laughs> this is terrible. How is this not good? Come to a haul. Big Daddy. Oh God. I'm an artiste. Artiste. Look at my amazing neon um, remake. Let me or see. aesthetic. Oh, it's so bad. not that good. Not Wait, that here's good. Here's the box guy. That's beautiful. Good. Very, yeah. very simple. I see we left the inside plain. We didn't paint the bottom of the box. I don't know what's going But isn't off. that great? I love when it's like not that good because it's like you made it yourself. It's perfect. We're gonna go to dinner. Let's go. I'm gonna get wine drunk. Woo! What did you just say off camera? This, yours is really good. <laughs> Thank you so much. Honestly, it's funny because the Hello Kitties that I freehanded look better than the actual existing letters that I painted. No, it all looks good. You think? Yeah. Thank you so much. Which one's your favorite Hello Kitty? Ooh, I've got my favorite. That one. Oh, this one's my favorite. She looks the most realistic. As you guys know, it's been so hot here, so my garden is suffering a bit, but I walked outside and this was leaning over because it's getting so big, I need to figure out like some sort of trellis situation or maybe tying it to these trellises, but I just lifted it and look, this popped up like overnight. My eggplant, it looks so good. I've got another one forming there, a few more there. It's so hot. I'm gonna give them a good water tonight when I get home, but keep it up, buddy. I'll tie you up when I get home. We put our name in at dinner. Now we're walking around because there's a bit of a wait. How do you feel today, sir? Feeling great. Feeling great. It's hot out, you guys. It's like muggy. I feel like it's like 90 degrees, but it's humid and I'm wearing a long dress and I'm sweating. And I don't even know what stores they have. We're just walking around. You get your puppy. <laughs> they have a Fabletics store? I didn't even know they had one here. I like these little workout tanks. I haven't been feeling super comfortable just working out in a sports bra, so I feel like something like this is perfect. Wait, you guys, these are identical to aloe leggings. They're, they feel the exact same, and they're way cheaper. It's really quiet in here, so I'm trying to whisper. That's insane, they literally feel like aloe. All right, guys, did a little damage. Everything in the store was 50% off, and I'm telling you, there's a boba guys here. We're just walking around now, and I might go get some boba guys, honestly, if they're still open. Look at this stunning view. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> Gorgeous. And this view, pretty nice. Stop. Just my luck, it says boba guys, asterisk. Key, asterisk, coming soon. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Soon. Outfit of the day. Dress skins, bag Prada, shoes, Balenciaga. Look at this, so cute. And they've got caramel apples. I'm gonna get one for dessert. It smells like ice cream. Wow, <laughs> this looks so, honestly, I'm gonna get some chocolate right now. I deserve it. We're celebrating. Oh my God, when my parents wouldn't let me have a dog as a kid, I no joke had one of these and I would bring it with me everywhere. All the candy. I'm a chocolate gummy bear girl. I don't know about anybody else, but I love them. Food, you burn. <laughs> Wait, I love this store. I love all these fun little pranky things. These are like my favorite as a kid. They've got toys galore. Cal and I just got into a fight in the store. I literally said one thing and then you pulled out your camera. Yeah, what did you say? I said, this is for you. He might be a little right. I'm getting Ollie a housewarming gift. Ollie, if you're watching this, please click out. Or look away for 30 seconds so I can keep my watch retention. <laughs> just kidding. Is this not the most Ollie towel you've ever seen? Cute little fuckers. <laughs> These are so cute. Oh my God. <gasps> <laughs> this for Ollie too. Butter, 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 butter. Who votes that I get these and plant them around the studio for Alicia? <laughs> no one's laughing but you. Chocolate covered marshmallow, chocolate covered Twinkies. Holy mackerel. Also, look at this adorable bag they gave me for my little towel. I love it. I'm running. Bubba Guys is open. <gasps> oh my God. Oh wait, now I'm so embarrassed. I totally did an outfit of the day in the mirror and they were watching me. It's fine. Now I can't go in. It's fine. <laughs> I can't go in. I can't go in now. I'm so embarrassed. We've come to Total Wine because it's air conditioned and I've been dying to come here to pick something up. When we went to Miraval, Chef Kyle showed us how to make this delicious drink and it was a gin and tequila mix. And as we know, I pretty much only drink vodka or wine. So I asked him 
him and said, these are so cute. I asked him to make mine a mocktail instead and he had this like delicious mocktail spirit stuff and now I really want it. It's like a non-alcoholic liqueur, I think. Look how pretty these tequilas are. Wow. It was so good, I took a photo of it. It is the Seed Lip Garden 108 non-alcoholic spirit. He said he got it from Total Wine, so I've been needing to come to one, so this is perfect. Oh, the AC is so nice. Also, I lost Cal and I bet he's in the beer aisle. Ooh, we've got some pumpkin spice things. Ooh, ice chocolate, yum. Where's the beer? I found the beer. Cal found it for me. Yeah. Hell yeah, Chef Kyle. Seed Lip, did they have other ones too? Yeah, they have different uh, <gasps> Take kinds. me, take me. Oh, oh, and I wanted to try. There's other kinds of non-alcoholic ones oh, too. Oh, this is awesome. Wait, I love this. Okay, this is herbal. I'm gonna, I'll get this one for now. This is so exciting. We're like kids in a candy store looking at all the fun. I just love like, packaging and like pretty marketing and things. So I got sucked in. I already really like high noons because they actually have real juice in them versus like, I love a, a white fly, I love a Bud Light Seltzer, I love a Truly, I love all of those. But these ones are just a little bit different and I got passion fruit. Then I found this, it's a faux pas. It's a Bartlett pear vodka mule and I love anything pear, which is exciting. Then I just saw this while I put it down. Vodka lemonade and vodka lemonade iced tea. I'm pretty sure these aren't sparkling, which I love a non-carbonated drink. I wanna see, I was really excited about the Truly lemonade and then they were sparkling and I still like them, but I want to try one that's not sparkling. We got sushi and drinks. We got a bomb ravioli with shrimp and we're sharing a chicken sandwich. Yum. Hi guys, okay, I'm home. I got home and I did some work stuff and then I FaceTimed Kirsten for a bit, just watered the garden, talked to Ollie. Now it's 11, 13 p.m. and I'm going to go to bed soon, but I want to do a haul of the stuff that I got at the mall. I also showed Ollie the dish towel that I got him because I couldn't hold it in any longer and he loved it. He said it was very Lana Del Rey, which means he likes it. So you guys saw all the alcohol that I bought at the store and then from Fabletics, I picked up five things. First up, I got the leggings, which as I told you guys, they have such a similar, like, if you guys have seen Ella leggings, they literally look like this. They're like the same ribbing, same material. These are double lined at the waistband, which I love. I love a nice thick waistband. <gasps> There's a pocket up here at the top, it looks like, for maybe like a keys or like maybe a credit card or something. If you go running, that's actually very, very helpful. I got this really cute orchid color. I am very excited to try them. They seem really nice and comfy and stretchy. So I got the orchid. I also picked up the cream, which, oh, these are the Power Hold by Fabletics, by the way. That's what they're called. It's like a cream white color. I am definitely gonna get these dirty, but they're gonna be so cute on. I just picked up this jacket, which you guys know I love a cropped black jacket. It, and I loved the material of this one because it's really soft. It's like an athletic wear, but I like that it's thin because I have so many black zip up hoodies that I wear all the time, but they're really thick. Perfect for the winter, but you know, also in LA, it doesn't really get that cold very often. So this is perfect if I wanna throw it on for like a workout. I honestly think I might go back and grab another one. Oh, it's so comfy. Wait, this is so cute. I love the thumb holes. Okay, either I'm gonna go back in store and buy another one or buy them online. <gasps> It is so comfortable. And then just being fully honest, sometimes I feel insecure about my arms. I wanna cover my arms up, which is why I like having a jacket. And then also sometimes I feel a little bit insecure about my like tummy midsection area. So I really like to tie jackets around my waist because I think it's cute. And then also makes me feel just a little bit more comfortable in that area. So I love having a nice thin one that I can just tie around my waist, throw it on if it gets cold, but I also just feel more secure about this area right here. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna buy another one of these because I think this is gonna be my new go-to black jacket for workouts or for everyday life. I'm gonna definitely get another one. Then I got this sports bra, which is this not the most me sports bra ever? I believe I tried this style already in a video on my main channel. I'm pretty sure it was the same one. And the problem that I had with this was there was like bunching up here at the sides. So I wanted to try it again because I did go down a size. Before I tried an extra large, this is a large. Honestly, let me step off camera and I'll try it on right now. One second. Wait, oh my God, I think the other one was just too small. This fits me perfectly before there was like really loose fabric here but now it like fits nice and tight i like this so much this is so cute Okay, so this is the all day, every day bra. I loved the color and I liked this like piping here. I just love any sort of like contrasting piping. This is so flattering and so comfortable. I usually range between like a large and an extra large in tops, but now this makes so much sense that it didn't fit before because it was just a little too big in this area. Wait, this is like my new favorite sports bra ever. I love it, I love it, I love it. Okay, very excited about this. And then last but not least, I picked up this little 
backpack. I just thought it was so adorable. I love anything orchid as you saw with the pants. I thought it'd be cute to match them together or just wear this with any other workout outfit. I love that it's like the perfect size. To me, this is perfect to take like on a hike or something in LA. It's got lots of little like pockets on the inside. It's got this little like meshing. I like the front little pocket. I can put like my phone or my wallet up here. There's like a little spot for a small water bottle. And then what I thought was really cute is you can adjust all the straps. So if you want to just do like one across, you can do that. You can do two like this maybe there's a way to wear them like this as well or I know you can also put like one and then wear it like as a crossbody in the front too which could be cute so I like that it's adjustable I just thought it was cute and I really liked the color it caught my eye so I'm going to wear this to the gym tomorrow absolutely I'm gonna for sure buy these again this in different colors and get another one of these anyways that wraps up this video I hope you guys enjoyed it thank you so much for watching and I will catch you guys tomorrow bye